First responder training. When responding to an adrenal crisis, just give the solo cortef. You may be called to an emergency related to a patient who is experiencing an adrenal crisis. Some patients have a life-threatening endocrine condition called adrenal insufficiency. This term refers to any medical condition when a patient is unable to produce enough of the essential hormone cortisol. Cortisol is the body's primary stress hormone and regulates a variety of important body functions, including regulating glucose, blood pressure, insulin, heart rate, and sodium levels. There are many types of adrenal insufficiency, including genetic forms like congenital adrenal hyperplasia, or CAH, autoimmune types like Addison's disease, and many other forms that are the result of other medical conditions that have impaired a patient's ability to produce cortisol. Patients with adrenal insufficiency are dependent on glucocorticoid medications daily to live. Patients take hydrocortisone, prednisone, or dexamethasone to replace the cortisol their body cannot make. In times of severe illness or injury, the body requires significantly more medication to respond to the stressor. In an emergency situation, when the patient may not be able to ingest oral medication or is vomiting repeatedly, an injection of hydrocortisone called solucortef will be needed to stabilize the patient. A patient experiencing a potentially life-threatening adrenal crisis may present with symptoms including nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, dizziness, pale skin, stomach or headaches, lethargy, confusion or delirium, low blood sugar, low blood pressure, fast heart rate, seizures, or shock-like symptoms. Most patients with adrenal insufficiency will have a medic alert bracelet and an emergency kit including an active vial of solucortef with them at all times. Their medic alert may state something such as steroid dependent, give hydrocortisone, or need solucortef. The treatment for any patient experiencing an adrenal crisis, regardless of the exact diagnosis, is to give an injection of solucortef. Delaying treatment can result in death or permanent disability. Remember this, when treating an adrenal crisis, just give the solucortef. To give solucortef, follow the dosage guidelines included in the patient's emergency kit. If they have not provided this information in the kit, there, these are the general guidelines provided by the National Adrenal Diseases Foundation. For infants and toddlers, 25 milligrams. For children, 50 milligrams. For teens and adults, 100 milligrams. Giving a little too much should not harm a patient. Giving too little or not giving the injection at all could be fatal. To give the solocortef injection, first check the expiration date then push the entire top of the vial down hard to release the stopper inside the actovial. Mix the powder in solution. Do not shake, just gently swirl the vial until the medication is mixed completely. Check the patient's dose, remove the small plastic tab at the top of the vial, clean the top of the vial with an alcohol prep pad, and open the syringe. Draw the air into the syringe equal to the level of the patient's dose. Insert the needle into the vial, invert the vial, inject the air, and pull back the plunger until you have the correct dose in the syringe. Remove the needle from the vial, then remove any air bubbles from the syringe. Identify the injection site on the outer middle portion of the patient's thigh, then wipe the skin with an alcohol prep pad. Finally, jab the needle into the patient's thigh and inject the solucortef. After giving the injection, the patient may improve drastically within about 10 minutes, but they still require monitoring and should be transported to the nearest hospital. Depending on the cause of the crisis, other aid may be needed. The patient's adrenal crisis symptoms should be treated with urgency when prioritizing what aid to administer, and the solucortef injections should be administered prior to being transported to the hospital whenever possible. Thank you for taking a few minutes to learn about responding to an adrenal crisis. And when in doubt, just remember, just give the solucortef.